guys, it's Sam, and today I'm gonna do a video that's combining two loves right now, books and plants. I got this idea from Natasha from My Reading is Odd. I was trying to find a way to combine books and plants because if you've been following me on social media, mostly like Instagram and stuff I talk about the most probably, I've been amassing a small plant collection. I have eight currently, and I just want to be able to talk about it but in a way that it ties into books a bit. And then she posted a video kind of I mean exactly like this and I was like you are genius. So I'm gonna be talking about books that my plants remind me of or that my plants would like based on their behavior, their looks, whatever. So let me introduce you to my plants and the books that I associate with them. So my first plant is a Fetonia or a nerve plant and she was the first plant that I got. What's funny is some of my plants I have gendered, some I have not, and some have names, but mostly since I have one of every type, I haven't named them, but this is a she. She's very dramatic. So Fetonias, when they need water, will just wilt and look like they're dead. Like they'll just all of a sudden, you'll wake up one day and they're like, Ugh. so I knew that she needed a dramatic book because she's very dramatic and then once you give her a little bit of water she perks right back up and she's fine then you don't have to water her again for like weeks they're amazing they're wonderful and i just love their foliage like look at how pretty she is ah oh, and they're like so low maintenance i love her mm. so due to the drama like i said the absolute drama of the fetonia that plant reminds me of the winner's Crime by Marie Rutkowski. This is a second book in the Winners Trilogy. This book I read years ago and it still haunts and hurts me with how dramatic and angsty and just like on the edge of my seat that I was. I still like can feel the feelings that I had while reading this book now. Like I said, years later. It is so dramatic and angsty and I love it so much and the drama feels like real. And I know the, the lack of water feels real to her as well even though I know she's gonna perk right back up after and she'll be fine. Next we have my air plant. I forget what actual type they are, but so weird and alien. So what's really cool about air plants, they're in a pot right now, but they don't need to be because they, they don't need soil. They don't need a pot. So you, like they just come like this, like a little alien. I love them so much. So this one's huge. I got this around my birthday at a nursery in Pennsylvania and one this big in like Philly would be like $60. And this was like 20, I think. Oh, I love them so much. And very weird and like a little alien. And because my air plant remind me of weird aliens, I definitely thought of Born by Jeff Vandermeer. This is a new weird science fiction standalone. And new weird is a genre of science fiction that is just unexplainable. It's bizarre. And I feel like air plants are bizarre. They grow without soil, attached to other plants usually. I don't understand them <laughs> at all. So that's kind of how Born is. Born is a weird biochemical designed thing and exists in a world where there are bioengineered flying giant bears that destroy things and there, there's no rhyme or reason or sense. New Weird is such a cool genre and air plants remind me of that. <sighs> then we have this sad dying Peperomia ripple frost, I believe. Before when it was healthy, the leaves looked almost like silver. This one, I don't know if I loved it to death. I don't know exactly what happened. Please don't give me any suggestions. I've tried everything. But this either was like the roots weren't connected very well when I bought it. I maybe overwatered it, although I don't think that I did because I use a water meter. I maybe didn't put enough sun, but now it's in better sun where my other peperomias are thriving and it's not doing well. Like it's just, it's just unhappy. I'm gonna do a last ditch effort and repot it today actually and see if it comes back with the leaves are no longer supple. It's just, it's just sad and disappointing. And it's disappointing to me because one, I love peperomia, I think they're so cute. But two, peperomia are supposed to be fairly hardy. They're not super picky besides being overwatered. So it's a disappointment to me because I expected more out of it. So that plant reminds me of King of Scars by Lee Bardugo because the Grishaverse is one, if not my favorite fantasy universe. And I thought that all Grisha books would be just a shoe in for favorites and have no flaws and be totally fine. And this book, while I still liked it, was like a 3.5 star, still like, okay, was not the five out of five stars that I was expecting, had a lot of problems, just let me down, you know? Just like the plant. I thought that it was gonna be like fairly simple, straightforward, knew I was gonna do well with it, knew it was gonna be like a favorite, it was gonna be beautiful, and what? not so much. And that's 
how King of Scars was for me as well. Then we have my beautiful rattlesnake plant. These are in the Maranta family, I believe. They're also in like the Calathea family. These are my favorite types of plants so far. They're very picky. I bought a humidifier just for them because they like being like more in, more humid environments. They're so like the foliage on all of these like variety of plants is beautiful. And they have like purple underneath on the leaves too. And what's really cool about these plants is they move throughout the day. So because of the like water going through their like stems and stuff, they will change how they fall. Like so right now all of his little leaves are down like this. At night he will fold his leaves up so they're all like kind of pointing straight up. They're also called prayer plants because of that because they almost look like they're praying. I love them and he was my first and my favorite. He's dependable. He hasn't shot out any new leaves but he also hasn't dropped any leaves so he's just kind of like a very dependable little dude. I love him. I sometimes call him Wilbur uh, but sometimes I don't. He's just... He's a sweet bean. And are there any little shoots coming in? I almost feel like there might be some shoots coming in. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want to bother him. But I love him and he was my first prayer plant and my introduction into my favorite kind of plant. And he reminds me of The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This is just more of a vibe thing. I was just kind of trying to think of something and I think because he looks kind of like also like a little alien E, just kind of this like mix almost of like sci-fi and fantasy in my opinion and that is how the fifth season is. It's an adult fantasy series that is post-apocalyptic and so sort of combines some magic with some like science-y type stuff especially later on in the series and so I feel like and the colors too I just feel like are very are very him so that is what little Wilbur reminds me of. Then we have my other Calathea. She again is one that will you know put her leaves up and down throughout the day and moves around and everything. I love her so much. Look at how beautiful she is. So and then she has some like color on the back so she does have the purple. I love her so much. I'm not sure which version of the Calathea that she is because I've looked up photos and none look quite like her. She almost looks like she might be a medallion but more of the medallion ones I've seen are rounder leaves and like brighter white. So I'm not quite sure which one she is but it doesn't matter because I love her. She's been doing really well. She does lose her leaves occasionally because she has so many so there's one that's kind of going yellow right now but that's normal and natural because she sprouted five new leaves since I've gotten her. So this one's unrolling. This one's about to unroll. This one just unrolled recently. I think another one just unrolled. I think this one? I don't know. Right now I have one, two, three, four. This one just unrolled. So five. I think one unrolled before that. So I've gotten a lot of new leaves and I've lost some too, but she is beauty. She's grace. She's regal and royal in my opinion. She's just so full and beautiful. and I love her so much. So if anything were to happen to her, I watch her the most because I'm just like, nothing happened to you because Calatheas are so just like sensitive. You know, you have to use like distilled water a lot on them. I have the humidifier just for her. Like she's just, she's drama. So she's royalty in my opinion. And because of her regalness, she reminds me of The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I've only read the first two books in this adult fantasy series so far, but this definitely centers around a princess who's recently come of age and she was kept away from her queendom for a long time because of how dangerous it would have been for her to be there. And then she's coming back and discovering everything about like the politics and everything there. But she's one of my favorite queens and I love her so much and I care about her and that is how I feel about my Calathea. Maybe I should name her Kelsey because that is the main character in this book. I don't know. We'll see. Then we have my little Peperomia obtusifolia. These are referred to as baby rubber plants. Mine is slightly variegated. So if the variegation is the change in colors and stuff, which is healthy and normal for these plants. Some plants have white variegation, which is really beautiful as well. But I love this one. Can't really, I think I kind of go between calling this one a he and a she. So just kind of like fluid, you know. These are their flowers actually, which is the weirdest fucking thing. But they get these little like rat tail looking like flowers. I don't know. It's weird. But these are really mostly for the foliage. So I love this. They have really succulent leaves that are just like very firm and stuff and are just like hearty and dependable and there for you when you need them. And that vibe I kind of associate with Brandon Sanderson's adult fantasy series, but especially the Mistborn series and any of his Cosmere stuff. I feel like if I need some fantasy that I know I'm going to like with a, you know, good magic system, I know the writing style, I know what I'm getting into, I reach for Sanderson. I just know that I like his stuff and I know that I'm enjoying going through his Cosmere universe. So this is reminiscent of the little obtusifolia for me because hearty, there for you, not dying like my other peperomia. <laughs> it's all good. Then we have this little guy who's a little succulent, a little succulent cactus type guy. And he is someone that I saved from like a, a clearance bin. I'm not convinced that he's real. <laughs> 
Mostly because he lives in this like moss crap that I just pulled out of like it was glued to the like plant stand. I haven't done anything with him. I haven't watered him. He's not in a like particularly well lit area. Like it's not a badly lit area, but I've discovered that my apartment's actually more dark than I thought it was. So he's not in like a high light area the way that a succulent really should be, but he seems to be too far. Like I think he's a real plant. I bought him at a Home Depot in the plant section. Like I really do think that he's real, but like I worry sometimes because I'm like, you're not dying like you should be, and not that he's growing, you know, like, so he's just, he's pleasant, but I forget about him, you know, because I'm just like, you don't need anything from me, I don't really know what you are, I don't really know what you want, are you going to survive in this, like, area, I don't know, pleasant, but kind of, I forget sometimes about him, you know, and for me, that's kind of the Temeraire series by Naomi Novik, I like this series when I'm reading it, but it's not a series that I'm like super super drawn to. It's not like my favorite series. It's very cute. I feel like the look of that plant reminds me of like dragons, dragon scales, things like that. And this is a adult fantasy series that's the Napoleonic Wars with dragons. So you have dragon riders and things like that. So it's fun. Temeraire the dragon is like a talking cat dog and he's great but I just kind of like forget about him because it's like a pleasant reading experience but it's not one that like ropes me in with all the drama and angst it's just like you're cute which is what my little plant guy is and lastly we have my last peperomia as you can tell I like peperomia because they're supposed to be hearty and like nice and stuff so I really like this guy I'm not sure which version of peperomia this one is so if you know let me know he has the nice little succulent leaves he's very just cute he's doing really well he's actually been like growing like he's been growing up a lot and stuff and I just think he's very cute and I got him at like a Home Depot or something and I just like his cute little leaves and his little like pleasant green like bright green nature and he's like a little soft and spots like he's a little velvety and he's just super cute and for super cuteness I have to go with the Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren this is also a similar just like vibe with like plants and stuff like that but this is a adult contemporary romance that I recently read and loved and it was so cute and it made me very happy like it gave me like giggly butterflies like like there were times that I actually was like oh my god so cute like when I was reading it so that's how I feel about my little peperomia he's just so cute and adorable and he's doing so well and he just makes me very happy when I look at it and that's how I think about the unhoneymooners so that is it for all of my plants it also counts as like an unofficial plant tour I've had some people ask me to do like a plant tour of my house I'm not gonna do that yet because I'm still trying to work some things out I also would prefer to have like 20 plants because right now I have like I said eight and you've seen all of them like it's fine. I want to have like more of a jungle look before I do like a plant tour. So if you want to follow my plant journeys, I talk about it on Twitter, which is linked down below. I talk about it a lot on Instagram and Instagram stories. So if you want to follow my life with plants currently, which is one of my current obsessions, go ahead and follow me there. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.